Hey, what's going on YouTube? You guys have tuned in to Rules for Rebels, and I, I think you guys are going to find today's episode, today's video, uh, enjoyable, inspiring, uh, and, and hopefully somewhat uh, enlightening. So uh, we're going to be talking about this, uh, this guy, uh, 24 years old, makes over $230,000 a year. He does have a day job, but outside of his day job, he has a side hustle. He's got a lawn, uh, lawn care landscaping business that brings in uh, about ten k a month. Uh, only about 1500 to 2000 of that is actually profit after he pays his guys and insurance and everything else. Uh, but keep in mind, this is a, a completely passive business, right? Like his brother's pretty much running it for him. He just started it. He's kind of financially backing it. But aside from that, it's pretty much hands-off for him. Uh, he also has four rental properties. And he's on track, and his goal is to become a millionaire by age 30. Now, I'll tell you why I wanted to make this video. Um, his his day job is actually a career path that I'd been meaning to make a video about, and I actually put up a Reddit post a couple weeks back looking to talk to a lineman. He's a lineman, so he's the, one of the guys who works on, uh, you know, works on the power lines. Um, and, and it was just kind of interesting that I stumbled upon his story because a he's a side hustler. We talk about side hustles here. Uh, B, he, he's interested in a fire lifestyle, financial independence, retiring early. But what was kind of funny about this, and like, like I said, I had already been looking into lineman jobs. Uh, a buddy of mine, uh, a couple years younger, he uh, years ago, he joined the Marines at 18. He, uh... hey, what's up, guys? Sorry about that. Per usual, the, uh, the computer's running out of batteries. And for some reason, whenever I plug into... Uh, Whenever I plug into my power after I'm already in the middle of recording, we get this uh, stupid Skype bridge uh, box popping up. So we'll try to move this out of the way here. Uh, but yeah, like I was saying, I, I got a buddy. Uh, this is a, you know, a number of years back, but at 18, he joined the Marines, uh, went over to Afghanistan, did three tours over there, uh, finally got out of the Marines in his early 20s. Um, and, and, you know, for the past couple of years, he's been kind of struggling to, to settle back into everyday life. You know, I think even for people who have kind of normal, I don't want to say normal, even for people who haven't, you know, gone to war and, and been through everything that that entails, it's difficult kind of finding your way as a young adult, choosing what career to do. There's so many options out there. It can be really overwhelming. And now think about on top of that, you're also struggling with PTSD. You've been to war and you're coming back trying to kind of like assimilate back into like everyday life. Um, so anyhow, I was kind of, you know, he's been kind of working some warehouse jobs and things like that. And I started hearing a little bit about lineman jobs. And I was, you know, he's a physical guy. He, I don't think he wants to be trapped inside an office. He, he kind of likes adventure and stuff. So I thought that'd be kind of be the perfect job for him, right? Like you're active, you get to climb around on stuff. It pays incredibly well. Um, and it tends to be kind of like, uh, I don't know, shift work is the right word, but right, like three, four days on, three days off type of thing. Uh, and a lot of my uncles and stuff are firemen, Chicago cops, things like that. And most of them have a side hustler business on the side, whether it be a painting company, construction company, their landlords. And I think lineman jobs are very similar to that, where, you know, you, you work a lot, but you also get a lot of time off and, and it kind of allows you to, to start some businesses. So anyhow, I've been looking into the lineman stuff for this buddy of mine. I was going to kind of encourage him to, to kind of go after that or look into it. Uh, so I thought it was kind of interesting when I saw this video today, and not only is this guy a side hustler, not only is he into the fire lifestyle, uh, but he's also a lineman. And so this is kind of another topic that I, this video is going to be a little bit all over the place today, but this is kind of another topic that I wanted to get into is I see so many people, uh, especially younger people, who entrepreneurship is like their number one plan. And I know there's a lot of people out there who kind of fall into the mindset of like the, you know, burn the, burn the boats, right? Like if... Uh, if I go after entrepreneurship and I don't have another backup plan, you know, I'm going to succeed because I have to succeed. And, you know, I listen to a lot of motivational compilations and things like that. And, and Will Smith has some motivational compilation where he's like, plan B, I don't got a plan B because it would just distract me from my plan A. And it's like, well, yeah, that, that's great that you became a, a multi, multi, multi millionaire uh, actor. But like, what if that didn't work out? What would you be doing? So, um, you know, entrepreneurship doesn't work out for everyone. Even people who do have success as entrepreneurs, you, you're going to hit some dry spells. You know, there's going to be some bumps in the road. And I think having some type of skill set, some type of career, uh, some type of education, something to fall back on besides uh, just planning on running Shopify stores or affiliate marketing, I think is kind of a smart thing to do. Uh, so anyhow, I kind of just wanted to make the, you know, I guess getting way back, I put up a post on Reddit, and I was wanting to kind of start doing a, a series of videos, kind of like introducing young people. Uh, I'm thinking like late teens to early 20s, like introducing young people to different potential career opportunities. 
because I don't think our educational system does enough to prepare people. Um, you know, it's like you come out of high school, you're, what, 17, 18 years old, and all of a sudden your options are like go find a job or go into $50,000 worth of debt uh, selecting a career that you don't know anything about and don't really know if you're going to like it. You know, it's kind of crazy. Um, and so I just kind of wanted to explore some different like high-paying uh, interesting career options that people might look into. That That's another thing that blows my mind. I remember back when I was like in my early 20s uh, trying to figure out like what I wanted to do and it's like there's so many jobs out there how do you even know what to even explore. I had a buddy who his dad was in the railroad industry and they lease rail cars. Uh, I think the company is GATX. Um, but uh, you know he got into that he enjoys doing it it pays him well but like if your father wasn't doing that, how the hell would you ever think about like, you know, I'm going to look into leasing, you know, being a salesman who leases rail cars. Like, you know, how do you even think about exploring these different career opportunities? So that's kind of where I got the inspiration for this. And I wanted to kind of start exploring some different opportunities. And what's kind of attractive about being a lineman, like it, it does seem to help if you either go to lineman school uh, or if you have a background in maybe like the military. Um, it seems like guys from the Navy tend to go into this, this from what I've been reading. Um, but, you know, this is something that you don't need a college degree to get into. Uh, very minimal amount of training. A lot of times it's training. I don't want to say minimum amount of training, but it's an amount. It's training that you can either get on the job or that your potential future employer will actually pay you to be trained on doing this. And, you know, I don't know what they make in every area of the country, but from what I've heard, it's uh, well into the six figures, uh, base salary, plus bonuses, plus a heck of a lot of overtime. And the way that the schedule seems to work out uh, de definitely tends to, for people who also have an, an entrepreneurial inclination, <laughs> definitely tends, definitely looks like it could be something where you could work this job and run some type of business on the side because it does uh, allow for somewhat of a flexible schedule. So uh, I'll let this play for you guys for a second. I'll link to this video below so that you guys can kind of watch it. But I mean, this is what alignment is. Um, and they kind of go through what this guy makes, how he got into it. Um, that, that's so special. Uh, what he makes, how he got into it. Uh, they go through all his, his monthly expenses and things like that. And the guy's making like 7 to 10K uh, a month. He spends next to nothing. He's living in his childhood home. Uh, I'm guessing he, that they either bought it from their parents or it was gifted to them. Uh, oh, I also thought it was interesting. He lives in West Chicago, Illinois, which, uh, which is only about probably 35, 40 minutes from me. Um, I may actually try to get in touch with this guy and see if uh, see if I can maybe get him on for an interview or something like that. Um, but anyhow, that's kind of his story. That's kind of why I, I thought this was interesting. And for everybody who's like dead set on being an entrepreneur, here, here's the other thing I wanted to throw out there too, is ultimately what 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 my channel is all about, or I guess what kind of the goal behind this channel is. Uh, I know, you know, when I was younger, I really kind of struggled with finding direction in life and finding a path and really what I wanted to do was live a fulfilling life on my own terms, to have financial freedom and choices, um, and just to kind of live my best life, really. And for me, the route to make that happen was entrepreneurship. Um, but, you know, I'm not opposed to uh, working jobs. If you find a job that you enjoy doing and is fulfilling and makes you happy and, and you feel like you're uh, serving a purpose and, and kind of on a mission, you know, if you find something that, that allows you to make the money to live the life that you want, it really doesn't matter that much if you're doing it for yourself or for somebody else. And the vast majority of entrepreneurs are not making $120,000 a year, let alone $230,000 a year. So uh, for anybody who's considering being an entrepreneur, uh, you know, getting a job as like a fireman, a lineman, a lot of these jobs allow a lot of flexibility to where you can have a steady income and a great job and benefits and a pension, uh, as well as being able to potentially launch your business on the side uh, or run a business on the side and make extra money, uh, which is exactly what this young man's doing. So uh, I actually found this through a Reddit post, and I just thought it was interesting for anybody who is kind of interested in this line of work or just kind of curious about this. Uh, a lot of great comments. There's actually a subreddit called Linemen. And a while back when I was looking for somebody to interview, that's actually where I posted and where I, I started trying to reach out to linemen. <coughs> but uh, there were some great comments. Somebody here says, uh, the power industry is great for fire. I'm an electric system operator. My base is 100K. I get a decent amount of overtime, and I only work three to four 12-hour days per week. So, uh, you know, potentially he's got 
three to four day weekends every weekend when he could be launching a business, running a Shopify store, you know, doing electrical work on the side, whatever it may be. Uh, I usually only work around 170 days a year, which is less than a teacher. Linemen always have more upside potential on income from overtime availability, especially in inter-utility emergency responses uh, that send them to regions devastated by weather. The flip side is that they have to hump their way up power, power poles, whether it's raining, snowing, 100 plus degrees or minus 20, uh, will I get to sit in a climate controlled room? Uh, and somebody asked, how do I get into that? Some guy said joining the Navy and going through the nuke program is very common. Maybe my half, half my coworkers come from that background. The other half of my coworkers have no common background. We have a former car mechanic, a former woodworker, mortgage broker guy, uh, a guy who worked in finance, a bunch of people who got in straight out of college with engineering degrees. Uh, I had a good degree in business with no real related experience, but my resume was apparently good enough for them to, for them to send me this pre-screening test, uh, which I performed well on. Um, let's see here. Uh, agree. I'm not on the same side as you. I'm real time. I'm not sure what that means. Uh, but the pay and the hours are ideal for someone who is younger and can be flexible with their schedule and wants to pursue fire. Uh, if I would have started right out of college, saved and invested properly, I could have easily retired by 40. It's a great career. I didn't start until 28 and have two mortgages and a kid. So my date is pushed back, but I'm, but I'll still be done with the work life far earlier than most. Let's see. See, do you get a pension? I do not. They're like, okay, so one guy says he doesn't get a pension. Yeah, I don't, anyhow, we won't read through all that. I'll, I'll link to this if, uh, if you want to check it out. Uh, but anyhow, like I said, you know, uh, I've been thinking about doing a, a video about some, like, uh, maybe backup plans to entrepreneurship or career paths for young people. Um, I'd actually looked into to the kind of lineman thing for a buddy of mine, and then I just so happened to see today uh, that we got this young side hustler into fire uh, who's making 240k a year plus uh, as a lineman as well as running businesses and having rental properties. So I uh, thought that was kind of interesting. Figured I'd, uh, I'd share it with you guys. Uh, again, links to the YouTube video uh, as well as the Reddit post uh, will be down in the description box below. Uh, let me know your thoughts on this guy's story. Uh, any of you guys work as linemen, have family or friends who work as linemen, anything else you have to add on this, uh, would love to hear what you have to say, so go ahead and drop a comment below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button below, and we'll catch you on the next video.